First, a ban on natural gas, then a partial ban on Russian oil, later a ban on providing insurance on tankers carrying Russian crude, and now a price cap on Russian seaborne oil. This price cap has three objectives. First, it strengthens the effect of our sanction. Second, it will further diminish Russia's revenues. And thirdly, at the same time, it will stabilize global energy markets because it allows some Russian seaborne oil to be traded, brokered, transported by EU operators to third countries as long as it is sold below the cap. But while the price ceiling on Russian seaborne crude oil was welcomed by most EU countries, with some even asking for stricter measures, Malta, Cyprus and Greece, three coastal EU countries that play a significant role transporting Russian oil, warn of the wider economic consequences of clamping down on an industry critical to international trade. Any sort of intervention in the liberal flow of commodities in the world affects the transporters. Certainly, the plafond that was set for the Russian oil will inevitably lead us to a price war of the different oil producing countries. Ships like the one behind me have been legally transporting Russian fossil fuels since the beginning of the war in Ukraine. Many have voiced their concern that Greece has played a significant role in distributing Russian oil, therefore funding its war. Hence this new measure. But analysts say although this price cap might have a short-term effect, the future for the shipping industry seems bright. Certainly, the tanker market at this very moment is enjoying a balance uh, in the equilibrium between the supply and demand of tonnage, and hence uh, this is uh, more what they have in their mind rather than uh, uh, what is going to happen with the commodities and uh, the prices at this very, very moment. Uh, the future for tanker market is uh, seen very, very with great optimism, uh, at least for the next uh, few years. This latest round of sanctions sends a strong signal that some of the world's richest nations are united against Russia's actions in Ukraine. But as the winter kicks in, Greece, with the world's largest tanker fleet, is taking a cautious approach by seeking alternatives to avoid the unattended consequence of further disrupting global chains. Evangelos Sipsas for CGTN, Athens.